We are going to be looking at how credit transactions are dealt with in accounting. Recall that when we treated three columns cash book, we mentioned the name of two persons, Mark and Mustafa. We sold some goods to Mark and purchased some goods from Mustafa on credit. Now we are going to be looking at how credit transactions are properly handled in accounting. Sales of goods on credit, returns inwards or sales returns on credit, purchases of goods on credit, return outwards of goods on credit, that is purchases returns on credit. We are also going to be looking at how these assets can be sold or purchased on credit. How are these transactions treated in accounting? Before we go over looking at these credit transactions and how they are recorded in their proper books of accounts, we are going to look at what is known as source document. Of course, if you go to buy some items in a shop, in a supermarket, of course, there are some documents that will be given to you. For instance, if you pay cash, you'll be given cash receipts. Invoices in most cases are used to denote credit transactions. We use check as a means of payment. Either check receipt or check pay. Petty cash vouchers are also documents that are used to show the, the genuineness of petty cash transactions. These documents always show how genuine a transaction is. And it is from these documents or books that the subsidiary books are prepared. That is day books, books in which everyday transactions are recorded as they occur. Before everyday transactions can be recorded, there must be some source documents which we have mentioned some of them. It is from these source documents that these daily transactions are recorded. And when these transactions are recorded on a daily basis, it is from these day-to-day -day transaction recording that transactions are posted to their appropriate ledgers or accounts. So the question is, what is a source document? Source documents are documents evidencing all entries in the books of accounts. Before any transactions are recorded in the books of accounts, it must be supported by certain documents which supports the genuineness or the authenticity of such transactions. These source documents assist in the preparation of subsidiary books. An example of these source documents includes the invoice, the cash receipt, the credit notes, the debit notes, 